guys, me your host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. So guys, it's part three of my Toy Fair videos today. We've got a bunch more stuff. Some stuff you may have seen when we uh, from the Hasbro Pulse um, webcast that they did on Facebook. But I've got a bunch of other stuff here as well and some great images to show you. So let's jump in at the deep end. Everyone knows that Marvel Legends did the fan vote. You can currently vote on that right now on Hasbro Pulse if you're in America. Sadly, us Europeans and that can't get Hasbro Pulse accounts, we can't vote. But it is for Electra in the white costume, Lady Sif in a nice white costume, and then again we've got Silk in a nice updated white and black costume. This is the 2020 fan vote, and according to the stage guys, they did say that they would only make one of these and not all three of them would reach the line like in previous years. So whichever ones don't get the vote may never get created. Obviously they said never say never because obviously things change, the lineups change all the time. But they said that with the fan vote this time round, it's a case of the one you vote is the one that's going to win and the other two won't get made this year at least. So that's that. Just to give you an update on NECA as well, I've got two nice images been sent over here from NECA themselves of the, um, is it the 40th or 45th anniversary of uh, Alien? And they've got the black and blooded up version of the Xenomorph here, which looks very cool. I really like the look of that. And then we've got the Predator as well. Um, again, he's got the big, long black and red sword, which looks awesome. I'm loving that costuming. It just looks so nice. Um, Again, he looks to have as if he's got the LED headlamp, head uh, mask unit. I'm not sure if it glows up like the other one did, but it looks like it may. So that's a very cool armor, and I'm very happy to see this is being made. So looking forward to that Predator and that Alien. They look very cool. Next up, guys, is the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers, and we're getting the Ranger Slayer in the pink and black. If you're a fan of the comic book of the Shattered Grid like I was, you'll know that you want her stood at the side of your Tommy. So she looks badass now as well, so I'm really happy she's been made. Her bow looks banging. I'm really liking the way this character looks. And that black cape as well just really pops on that pink. It just looks so good together. Sadly, that's the only ranger I'll be talking about. I was I was originally going to collect the line of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, including Goldar, Lord Zed, and the Rita Repulsa that's coming. But I decided against it. I'm going to stick with, like, maybe the comic characters. Like, obviously, the Ranger Slayer and, you know, and Dracon are kind of characters that you don't normally see in the line. So I'm happy to pick those up. But whoever gets the license next, you know, are going to recreate Tommy and Jason and Trini again. So, uh, but I think seeing characters like Dracon and the Ranger Slayer are going to be harder characters to recreate, so... I'm happy to see these in the line this time round, and I'm very excited by it, and I hope you like those pictures. Ooh, next up was the Avengers wave, guys. Um, and that's a better look for us to look at the new Abomination figure, and they did confirm this is the Abomination that is based on the video game, not based on how we've seen him previously um, in the wave. So this is a very new sculpt. Uh, they've included the butterfly hinge on the shoulder this time around. Times have moved on. Obviously, it was 2015, I believe, when the last Abomination wave was made, along with the... was Because it, it was in this... It was in the Pizza Spider wave, right, if I remember rightly? But yeah, this is based on the Avengers video game, so that's all coming very soon. We're also getting a deluxe Apocalypse to go with our Age of Apocalypse characters. A lot of people were upset, I think, because I think they wanted Sabretooth. But no, we are definitely getting Age of Apocalypse here, and it's Apocalypse himself. <clears throat> it's an updated version from the one we had last time. Obviously, last time we had the very serious, old-fashioned like old -fashioned look. This is the more... Um, the more iconic look from the from the actual comic book Age of uh, Age of Apocalypse, and they've got a big laughing uh, face, which I really like, and he's holding a human skull, and I really like that because that again we could use that with other characters. It's going to be a great thing to have, so looking forward to having this in hand. They also announced for people like you know like like us out there, the adult collectors that do like to um, army build, that it's going to be possible going forward with Hasbro, because the Hydra Trooper is going to be the first one uh, where we're going to be able to order them for I think it's fifteen pounds, and you can basically it'll help you army build basically. I think it's just the one in the box, but I'm not sure. But again, more details on that will come out as time goes on. But they did also mention that you're going to be able to do it with other characters. Like, Hydra Agent was the first one. But on screen, they also had the um, 
the warriors from like Black Panther and stuff like that. Okay, moving on now to a little bit of DC, as you can see here, and McFarlane, this is McFarlane's multiverse range, and they are giving us Azrael, which is a very cool character to get in the range, and a bit of an uh, unfamiliar character for a lot of people, so I'm glad that we're getting this character, it looks awesome, the sculpt looks great, and the paintwork looks amazing, so happy to see this coming to line. Another Fortnite character here that's been announced by McFarlane's Toys, and this is uh, Big Mouth. Uh, a bit of a more of a random obscure character from Fortnite, but again, glad to see it being made. It's not something that it's not another Jonesy or another you know Dark Bomber. It's a character that wouldn't be created otherwise. It's a very obscure character, but I like it. It's almost like a shark head on a human body, uh, a bit of a Frankenstein sort of thing. There's like a frog and stuff, and the arms sort of decaying and stuff. Comes with a lot of uh, accessories, including what looks to be a bow and arrow, and also the harvesting tool, so very cool. Hasbro Pulse did announce that we will be getting some movie figures from the Sony and Fox um, acquisitions. And the first up we're going to be getting is Deadpool with Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Woo, I said it. Um, so yeah, a lot of people were saying that they don't think Negasonic Teenage Warhead will be a very wanted figure and people are going to buy the two-pack just for Deadpool and get rid of her. I think she'll be quite well accepted in the range because it's a female body, but it's, she's in that sort of New Mutants X-Men attire, which I think a lot of people will want to use on things like Kitty Pride, maybe a Rogue. Um, obviously, they could use that with um, Wolfsbane, maybe, and make a nice custom. So I can see it being reused, you know, um, as a different sculpt. But again, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, I'm glad to see her coming to the line. Uh, again, it's a movie character, and I kind of liked her, and I hope the make, is it Yuki? Her, uh, the female love interest from the second film, was it Yuki? Yuki, Yuri? I can't remember, Yuki, I'm sure it's Yuki. I mean, I've got that completely wrong. <laughs> the Walmart exclusive is going to be Cable, though. Again, though, he looks awesome and just like the movie. And, of course, we're getting Domino as well. So, again, she is coming as a, they said she's coming as a part of a two-pack, but then they did say that Cable was a Walmart exclusive. <coughs> so I'm not sure who's going to be coming with Domino. Um, maybe it might be the kid, but never know. Stay tuned. It might be everyone's favourite... Um, Invisible Man <laughs> with a Brad Pitt changeable head. <laughs> Next up was the Deadpool wave that showed off that we are going to be getting these three characters, including the blue and the blue Deadpool with um, Thunderbird um, and Sunspot. Oh, I had to think then. But they, are, they have got some more to add to the line, including Black Tom. Um, again, it's a character that everyone's been after for quite some time, you know, and it is, you know, when, when they announced Deadpool lines, he's one of the characters you do think of, so I'm glad to see him finally coming to the line. With that black and red, I can see people making a Morbius custom with that, especially with that collar. It looks awesome. But again, Black Tom's a character that I think we've been after for a while, so I think most people are going to be happy with that release. Then we have Maverick as well coming to that wave to round it out nicely. Um, again, it's just a very nice figure. I don't know too much about Maverick, uh, but again, it's it's another welcome addition. And you know, some of those parts on that figure could be used as some great fodder for customs. I can tell you that. Them legs. Yeah. Have you noticed as well? They did mention that they are moving away from the pins being on the outside of the body, so they should be sturdier and things like that. I'm not sure where that leaves us as customizers, uh, being able to take figures apart. I'm not sure how that's you know how they're gonna fit fit together now, so we'll see. But again, the figure of Maverick looks pretty cool. Moving on to Walmart, Walmart exclusives here for the real Ghostbusters. These are based on the ones we had as kids. There were a lot of confusion yesterday when this got announced. People thought that all those all the online sites like myself were throwing up pictures of old figures, and it's not. These are basically faithful recreations of the old figures from the, what we had in the 80s and 90s. It's based on the real Ghostbusters line that was by Kenner, um, and they are re-releasing them uh, for the modern audience. So you can finish your line or start a whole new line if you never, you never had them as a kid, and li relive some nostalgic value. And we do believe from this photo that you can see here that they are going to be exclusive to Walmart, so pre-orders are going to have to be put in. Including Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and all the usual, you know, Egon Spengler's going to be there, you're going to get Ray, you're going to get um, all the characters going to be in it, so make sure you pre-order. And there's a nice group shot of them all for you to look at, including Slimer and everything. 
again when some packages you know some packaging and stuff gets announced I'll make a follow-up video again uh, tomorrow with all the rest of the toy fair news and give you some more updates Staying with Marvel Legends, they are giving us Iron Man 2020. Of course they're going to give us Iron Man 2020 in year 2020. It's just, it's got to be done, hasn't it? And this is a Walgreens exclusive that can be pre-ordered right now. It looks an awesome figure. I'm loving the um, the actual crank pieces around his shoulders and stuff. They look really cool. Really happy about that. A new updated Rogue is coming as well from Regenesis. She looks awesome. This modernized Rogue would be needing one for a while. Although I'm not sure on that head sculpt of it. I'm not a fan of that new head sculpt. But the costume's very cool and I could see me using my old Rogue head on that body. Might have to be done. We'll see. But again, a very nice, a very nice new figure. And it's nice to see Rogue getting a bit of love as well. Because we've only got the one figure of Rogue. And to buy her costs a fortune, so I'm glad they're kind of recreating her and giving us a new version. Sticking with the movie range again, we've got Wolverine and Mystique from the first X-Men movie. We are going to be starting to see a rollout of the characters based on the movies. Um, so Hugh Jackman, obviously, Logan's got to be one of the first we create. And everyone loves Mystique from the original films, so I'm glad to see these two getting a pairing. Nimrod as well is going to be another character that's coming based on the modern version of Nimrod but apparently it does come with a changeable head to change him into that more classic Nimrod. I don't know too much about the Nimrod character. It's not a character that springs to my mind and I am a big X-Men fan but it's not a character that springs to mind for me. So I'm going to have to go on my uh, pull, uh, my, not, not Pulse, my Marvel, my Marvel Comics app and uh, download some comics with Nimrod before I do a review on him. So apparently it was a very successful um, arc of storyline, it's Old Man Hawkeye, I never read the comics uh, of Hawkeye, the, especially Old Man Hawkeye, it wasn't one of the ones that I read, although people did say to read it, um, I thought it was just going to be like a bit of an Old Man Logan kind of spin-off, but I don't know, it's set in that like weird post-apocalyptic kind of world, but again, Old Man Hawkeye, it looks an awesome figure, um, so I think people are definitely going to buy it, and definitely going to have to go back and read that comic. Um, on the front cover of that comic, is that Captain America? Looks like him. Mm. Interesting. Of course, they're going to re-give us Old Man Logan with the with the um, with the baby um, Hulk. Definitely has to be done. And again, th this was this is a faithful recreation of the 3.75 inch, but it's been upscaled to six inch apparently. Uh, it apparently was like a Comic Con exclusive, was it a couple of years back? Um, but it's been upscaled to six inches. Um, it does look like they are reusing some body pieces here, but they've given us a new uh, cloak, by the, you know, a new jacket, and the hat and the face skull looks all brand new. And of course, with Baby Groot, Baby Yoda, we've got Baby Hulk now. <laughs> the baby team is growing. Keep with Fortnite as well, one of my favourite, favourite skins over the last sort of four or six months or so. Plastic Patroller, uh, the Army Man skin. He looks awesome, and you know what? I could see myself actually buying multiple versions of that figure just so I can have a platoon of green soldiers. I could honestly army army build that. I would wait till that figure came to B and M here in the UK, and I would multiply buy that because it would be so cool, wouldn't it, to have a bunch of them? Keep with them with the motorcycle line for Hasbro. We are getting a new Punisher. <clears throat> I'm not too sure on this Punisher. Does he, Is it me or do the arms look way too big for that torso? I know what they're trying to do here and they're trying to show him off as the badass biker and stuff but the arms just look well out of proportion with the body for me. When it came on the screen during the presentation everyone in, you could hear everyone in the audience sort of go <gasps> you know, is like fawning over it and I kind of like I like the bike but I might have to custom that Punisher a little bit. <laughs> But either way, it's cool to see another Punisher in the line anyway. Coming with the Deadpool wave as well, it's going to be the strong guy here. Again, there's a lot of big top heavy figures coming this year. And I'm loving that um, the trading card on the side with um, Polaris. That is a cool way. If we can get, if someone can customise Polaris in that costume to start to sit on his bicep, that would be awesome to have on your shelf. In fact, Hasbro Pulse should give us, give us that character just to do that with. <laughs> Moving on as well, there's another Fortnite figure from the background. The last one is Scully. Um, not a skin that I've ever, that I've owned before, but she does come with what looks like a little machine, like a little submachine gun, and of course her rainbow cleaver. 
Marvel Legends Target exclusive first appearance Storm is coming as well. We have had that announced previously. I know it's no, 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 because there is a Storm coming in a black costume, but this is different, right? This is the first appearance Storm based on the giant size X Men. But again, looks really cool. It's going to be Target exclusive, and you can see there's the no pins. You can't you, you can't see any pins in the elbows, the knees, and you can see that the actual thighs and the legs are actually thicker than on previous models of figures for women. So. Hopefully we might start seeing double hinged elbows next. <laughs> Here's a closer look at the Age of Apocalypse wave builder figure, Sugarman. He looks really cool as well. He's a bit of an obscure character. And it, it, I don't know, it's a figure that's like, Meh, do, I, do I really want that? My collection just looks weird. But yeah, they had a lot of fun fitting that one in the packaging, apparently. If you look at the packaging photos I put on Instagram, at SuperSorrel, go check it out. You'll see that Jean Grey is like sideways in the packaging to get the giant head in. It just looks ridiculous. We are getting a vintage Spider-Man wave as well, which I'm happy to say, including a retro Peter Parker that includes a, another head which has got the half spider mask on, like in the television series when you used to go, Shh, Shh, you say, my spider sense. Hmm? So that's pretty cool. We are also getting a Gwen Stacy figure as well. People have been dying for that. A lot of people have been making their own custom versions of her, but they do include a double head, so we can actually have Mary Jane Watson as well. So that's nice that they've given us both, but I don't see Mary Jane wearing that outfit. That's very much a Gwen Stacy outfit. But it'll be nice to have a Jane, uh, sorry, a Mary Jane head, so we can actually use that on a previous female body. So yeah, I could see myself making a custom Mary Jane with that head. Again, a great figure to have in the series. Um, an all new Spider-Man sculpt is coming as well, guys. They're not they're not just re-giving us the old Spider-Man Pizza Wave one. They're completely apparently have re-hauled this figure and giving him all new um look and feel. So can't wait to get that in hand and see what changes they've actually made. The Maximum Venom line is coming. Um apparently the Captain America from that line is going to sorry, the yeah, the Venomized Captain America is a Walmart exclusive, whereas uh, Gwenham and Miles Morales uh, symbiote are both from an, a yet indetermined wave so we don't know who else is going to be in that wave but Captain America is not going to be one of the figures from it he's going to be a Walmart exclusive and the new line that's coming out of toys is going to be the Spider-Man Maximum Venom line that's going to be based on the con that's going to be based on the TV series which is coming to Disney um, and uh, Disney Plus uh, later on this year Here's an update at DC Multiverse's The Joker. Um, again, this is based on the Arkham Asylum version of The Joker with the flower sort of dying in his lapel and stuff. His grin seems obscurely big, but it looks good. So yeah, I'm happy to see another faithful recreation of that Joker. Because um, I could, I didn't think they could improve on the last Arkham Asylum figure they made, but you know what? This hits it out of the park. Here's a look at Batman as well from the Arkham Asylum. Apparently these are all coming spring 2020, so these should be due any time now. <coughs> Maybe in the next month or so, and they are going to be priced up at $19.99 each, both from the Arkham Asylum series. Then in the fall of 2020, we're going to see Batman the White Knight, and as you can see at the side of him, there's also Joker the White Knight. I should have another picture of Joker um, in here somewhere as well for you to look at, but again, it's nice to see the White Knight gain some love. It was a very successful comic book, where Batman was seen as the bad guy and Joker was seen as the good guy. It's a very weird comic, but I really liked it. There's another look as well. You can see Azrael in the background there as well. So again, really cool figures coming. And there's an alternate head for Joker in that pack as well. But sticking with McFarlane's, we've got the Fall of 2020 Mortal Kombat lineup that's going to include a Spawn figure, a Baraka. Uh, Bracca looks really cool as well here, and of course Kitana. Kitana does come with an alternate head without the mask. Um, and you can see in the background, Raiden and Johnny Cage are available right now. Going back to Hasbro, they are going to be releasing another deluxe figure later in the year. And this is going to be the War Machine figure based on uh, number one War Machine, um, which is Jim, uh, Jim Rhodes, the armor the, and the attitude. Looks very cool. Um, I'm just not number saying it. it is a very cool sculpt and um, it is based on the classic war machine rather than the, the sort of modernized recreation of him and people have been asking for a good war machine for a while so it's nice to see a comic war machine in the, in the, in the lineup going back to those Fox and Sony heads we've got some uh, Magneto and J uh, Charles Xavier fun here and as you can see these are based on um, the modern versions of them which is James McAvoy and
he's only a national treasure and I've forgotten his name. Nope, it's gone. But yeah, it's the two modern guys that play them. But they have given us alternate heads that you can shove on Ian McKellen or Patrick Stewart there. For me personally, I'm going to be putting the Patrick Stewart head on the body of my uh, Charles Xavier that I've already got because I prefer the green suit. And again, mm, that Magneto suit, it's orange. Why? So I might be tempted to use the black and red costume of Magneto uh, that we got from a while back and put that head on that one and see how that looks because I'm not a fan of that costume <clears throat> they are going to be giving us another Logan exclusive of course this is the uh, again this is Logan we have already had technically it's the jeans and tank top wearing Logan but this one's going to be an Amazon exclusive with the old with the Hugh, Hugh Jackman heads one with a growly snarly face and one with his nice happy face he does also come with alternate hands as well to give him bone claws as well as the uh, adamantium the claws look as if to be the new ones as well that we had in the recent three pack uh, with Wolverine in so that looks pretty cool again I'm, I'm sometimes I say these weird things but I will buy all of these figures <laughs> Oh, and I believe that is it for this video, guys. That is everything that we've seen this evening. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will create another one if we get enough content come out tomorrow to make another video. Um, if there's any updates as well on those Ghostbusters figures, some packaging details, stuff like that, I will let you know. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching all my coverage of the Toy Fair. And I will still create another video tomorrow. Like I said, as long as we've got enough content, I will create more content for you. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you are new around here, please make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. We have got a giveaway at 25,000 followers, and it is going to be an Amazon gift card. So you can be from anywhere in the world and win that. Um, it's for an undis un undisclosed amount yet, but it is going to be pretty cool because it's my 25,000 giveaway. So make sure you subscribe. If you want to see any of these images you've seen during this video and see them properly and up close, please go ahead and check out my Instagram, at SuperSorrel, where all these images are going to be put up. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, SuperSorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!